It's fucking freezing. It's nice, isn't it? Aye. Oh, I should get the heat on. Now let's do this. I need to talk to these boys. We need to make some changes, but I'll talk to you when we go and eat. Right. It's fucking freezing. What kind of changes are we going to move to a warmer climate to do this? Oh, it's so much easier. No, in wish. LA. Let's go, 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 go. Let's get the hell out of here. Lights on. Watch the seagulls. Oh. Have you picked up your Ghostbusters game yet? No, no, I need to go get my Ghostbusters right. game. Let's go. Oh. You alright back there, Ryan? I'm good. As you cold? You in, the, you in the child seat? It's fucking freezing. It's mad, isn't it? It's like... We, we are in the game of... We're making a technology show, basically, aren't we? And, we just need some actual technology to keep us alive. What's the seatbelt? Who's seatbelt? It's like fucking Star Trek, Jerry. What's going on? Something's up. What, what happened? Is it's your tailgate home? No. Have your tailgate's home? Have you got a seatbelt on now? Something's up. Try your seatbelt again. My seatbelt's in, I'll put it back in again. It's got the wee red guy with the... It's a leafy, it looks like you've got a hash leaf or something there, a wee herb leaf. Yeah, that's fine, that's just because I'm an economic driver. Right, well, let's give it up, let's give it up now. Go, 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 take us away, Jerry. Let's go. Oh. I know we can't do this one, we're supposed to be lifting up the cameras. Because the camera isn't here, Jerry, don't look in the lens. It's just it's a moody shot here. I can't, I want to look in the lens though. That's it. Is that alright? Can I do that? Aye. It's kind of like looking in it, but. And Ryan, don't. Don't. The camera's not. Don't look in it. Just can you have a reflective thoughts, okay. a meditative thoughts about your life. Think about your life. But no, don't the lens. Don't think about your life as it is the new, where things are going quite well. Think this about it's a bit like meditation because you're just supposed to let things happen. See, like, just don't attach yourself to it. See, just for the mood of the episode, could you think about your life when things were only going quite as good as they're now? And then I shot at me, and I'll be kind of late. I'm worried. I'm worried about everybody. Do you want me to hold the camera? No, no, you drive me. I'm just, like, I'm, not, I'm just worried about everybody. Hold on. It makes you think, doesn't it? It does. Can I have a moody driving close up? Aye. This is the last one, though, because this intro's already too long. Okay. Don't look. Jerry! I won't welcome you to the review of Clask which is a, neither a board game nor a computer game. It's merely a, it's, it's a, a dexterity, it's a game. It's merely a game. Sport. It's, it's, a, sport. it's a sport. It's a sport. Yeah, and you might have heard it. Let's see, I thought the best way. Let's explain first of all how it works. There's a ball, and there's three ways of scoring. You get the ball and the other guy's wee hole over get here. Get out of my hole. Right. Or uh, you stick these two wee sticky men. If you get two wee sticky men on your opponent's uh, thing, then that's a goal as well. And also, if, uh, you clask your thing mate and here. Self clask. And that's a that's a self clasker. You're that's right. also a point for your opponent, right? Yes, yeah, you clask you, it for it. We're gonna play some graphics because we're gonna have a match. Go! Hello! Hiya. Yeah. Oh, 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 get that out my Now watch this. Oh, oh defense, good save, deep. good save. Oh. Yes! One nil to Jerry, beautifully done there. We reset, and as you can see, he stuck it in my hole, so that's one nil to Jerry. Ready? I think Gareth just stuck it in your hole, even though you were. Oh! One each. He tried to defend, he clasped himself. Um, he was frankly outclasked in that point. I was clasping for it. Right, here we go. Look at that. Oh! oh. I mean, that's how it's done. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty good at this. You're a bit too fast for me there. Oh, wait a minute, you should be kicking off. I'm sorry, Jerry, you should be kicking off. Yeah, the cheating, the cheating's helping. Right, sorry, sorry. Uh, the opponent obviously kicks off when you've scored the goal into the... Oh, yeah! Oh, half a crossbar. Oh, oh, he's down! Oh. Right, well, you kick off for your bit. Let's do a play. Didn't you kick off, because I've scored the point? No, I can't put it out. You didn't score a point 
Low ball. Now watch this. Watch this now. Whoa, yeah. Oh, oh! I've got a sticky volley on me. He's in. Can I get out? If I can get it out, can I get out? Oh, you did do it. Did you cheat there? No! Oh. <laughs> right, I picked up here. It's no, um, oh, it's no, it's three. It's two each. Two each, two each. Here we go. So as you can see, anyway, I'll just continue my review here. This is a great fun game. It's a game that anybody can play. Especially me. Have, it's actually a quite, oh. it's quite a nice wee object to have. That's another point for me to pick up, Jerry. Um, it's a nice wee object to have about your house as well. It's a it's Scandinavian. It's a Scandinavian thing. It has that kind of IKEA vibe about it, doesn't it? Mm. Uh, but it's actually a really, really good game. What's by magnets, by the way? This is controlled by a magnet underneath. Go, Jerry. Here, here you go. This seems like a nice gift if you've got someone that uh, doesn't know what to get you. You could you could clask for this kind of gift. You could, could you? Yep. Very good. Um, you could. Oh. I mean, look at that. I've given him trouble there because he doesn't want these sticky wallies to stick to him. I call them sticky wallies. It's not oh, a actual name. But I'm putting him oh. under extreme pressure here. I need to send him towards his goal hole because if he goes near it, there's a good chance a sticky wally is going to stick to him, giving me the. The, the, the point and oh, defense! Oh, defense! Oh. Come on now! Offense! Oh, Come on! Guard the fence! Oh! Oh! Oh yes! Match point for me! You kick off Jerry! Jerry's me guys going out and say, here's match point. Uh, thanks so I much don't... for watching Consylvania's review of class. Like I say, this is a great um a great wee dexterity base. Stop talking! Yeah! <laughs> It's a great dexterity based game where you never feel as if you're out of it really, even. Loads of dirty tactics. Huh? Look at that, that's how you do it. Uh, that's classed, highly recommended, good solid bit of kit. Um, very nice to look at, very easy for everybody to play it, unless you're somebody who uh, obviously somebody doesn't have horns or something like that. I can't even keep, I don't even know what Call of Duty is it that people are talking about, or if it's modern, I don't know what it is. No. All I've seen is people moaning about it and saying, I've had to download about 50 gigs worth of stuff. Ah. Well, you know how bad my internet is currently and still is at the moment. And uh, when I first tried to download it, it was 99 plus hours. Did that wee thing where you're like, you're not going to get to play this, mate. There'll be another Call of Duty by the time you get this downloaded. Yeah, yeah, totally. It was painful. See, it's no game, mate. It's a service. Yeah. It's a service, it's not a game. Certainly a bloody commitment. I haven't played a Call of Duty. Or any of that for ages. How many of them? Roughly? 15, don't, don't something like that. all the kind of ones where they jump and become spacey and then come back again. I like the that. last Call of Duty, it's good. What one was the last one? I liked the first one. Can you even name a Call of Duty? No, you're right, the, the name's kind of... Escape me. I can remember the covers. Scott Sergeant Pierce. Price. Sergeant on the Pierce. Covers. Pierce Brosnan. No. Do you remember first playing a Call of Duty and really enjoying it? Or do you remember, like, back that far? I remember Modern Warfare, the first. Mm. It was amazing, wasn't it? I don't think I've played it. I remember. I remember the first one. I'm pretty sure you got me the first one. Call of Duty. For Christmas. Shit. Sure. For what? PC. Did the first one have the... It was just a World War II thing. The Thin Red, yeah, the thin red Line. A World War II shooter, that was all it was. Where it kind of got something you get bombarded There was a bit in it. I can't remember what the time was. Well, it must have still won it. There was a bit in it like um, in Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, that's what I mean. <coughs> uh, a war. Fell away mm. early on in the game. There's fucking tanks and all sorts of sh Nazi shit coming oh, through. Mm. It was mind blowing at the time. It was always always had that thing though, didn't it? Call of Duty games where it's like you had triggers almost in the environment. You kind of like, like you'd you stood on a landmine essentially. You'd for go the game. forward, you go forward, go forward, and then oh, if you pass through this wee bit, oh, then suddenly oh. bang, a tank uh -huh. comes through there. It's like it's all these wee right. scripted. Triggers. Mm -hmm. Still got that. <laughs> God. Well, 
That's why I'm gonna play Ghostbusters instead. I must say, we scripted moments is okay in my book. I do love the Nintendo Switch cartridges. I love a cartridge. Uh -huh. Although sometimes you have to do an update or a download with them as well, but most of the time you're just in and go. That's true. In and go, and that's it. There was a wee lassie. There was a wee lassie on the flight back for, uh, Amster, uh, for Bordeaux, Bordeaux to uh, Amsterdam. Like about six, by herself, on the flight by herself, chatting away to strangers and stuff. Don't know why I brought that up. Because I was going to get her shot on a switch, but I ended up in a book. Ryan, stop offering. I thought she was going to need help to like pass the time on the flight, but she was actually absolutely fine. You quite often see that a kid travelling by themselves on a plane, and it's a weird thing. And a, a man in his 40s offers them like some, a game or a sweetie. He was just being friendly. Did you have your switch on the plane with you? Mm -hmm. Did you play some? I did. I played Dandara. What is Dandara? <coughs> it's an indie game. For a couple of years ago. Surprise, surprise. It's like a wee platformer. Any good? It's okay. It is okay. Did you finish? You don't, you don't move. No. You don't uh, get to move your character. Just move like a normal character. You have to like kind of choose a trajectory. And shoot your way through. Like fire your way through. While well, shooting things. It's like catapulting yourself almost. Like. Uh -huh. Is that a good game to play when you're on a plane? Just catapulting yourself? Just the concept of that? It's okay. The it's best terrifying. game. I also played pinball. Frankenstein pinball table. That's more. Uh -huh. I go to uh, Star Wars pinball for. I've got Switch. Star Wars pinball tables for my Vita. And they're a lot of fun. Right. Saves the best game for a long journey or something like that. <laughs> So you can just disappear into an entirely different universe and world. Aye. And then actually you're like, do you want me? Do another lap, fly around again, I'm not done here. I definitely feel like I want to get the Witcher for the Switch. Mm -hmm. Even though I totally bounced off it on the PC. I was just like, oh, I can't do Three, I don't know. I just, I don't know why. But then I think maybe I'll play it on the Switch. Maybe if I'm able to just do a wee quest here, a wee quest there. You know what I mean? But uh, this is the thing, it's like, we're out the loop, aren't we? The loop's too big. Jingle, jingle loop is too big. It's a lot to pay attention to everyone. But we used to be, like Consulvania, we used to be like... The marketplace is definitely bigger than it used to be, though. Aye. I'm fairly sure. But we used to be quite, like, cutting edge, didn't we? Over? Yeah, we just cut our burgers. Over blood and all that. That's all we do now. Mm. Well, like, well, I don't know. I, I can't even remember a Resi 4 review, for example, being that really early. A, that was an exception. You used to put uh, plastic bags over your head, stuff like that as well, didn't you? We did. We used Is to that cutting, that's what cutting edge? Maybe they've just changed what cutting edge was. Is. How they define it differently, don't Yeah. But in terms of, like, weird, obscure, quite obscure games and games that people, maybe people hadn't heard of and, and just knowing in general like the big stuff you know what I mean I'm guessing maybe they have heard of the game I'm reviewing in this episode what what is it called mosaic I've certainly never heard of it did you get a, did you get a review copy of it yep is that why you're reviewing it no did you fancy it did you mm -hmm. ask for it well, it's just coming on Did to Did you Switch. say, excuse me fella, I would like to try this game. I did. Or madam. I'd like to try this game that you have created. I like the look of it. We well, like this looks short. I like the look of it. This looks why these, manageable. There's me why these people made a, a big game. They've made like a couple of hours of a game and called it a game. It's a complete story. It's a very well told complete story. That is, that is quite good. Spoil your review. Do you like a mosaic? <clears throat> watch the review. Do we need to watch the review? Uh huh. It's just coming on to Switch. Oh, so it's a Switch game? Well, it's on PC. Huh? Do you play it on PC? I started it on PC and then they gave me the Switch code, so I played it on Switch. Ah. Mosaic, you say? What's it about? He's a clue. What it's about? Is it about 
I'm going to guess it's an indie game. Is it about being depressed? It is about depressed, aye. Is it? Right, I thought so. It's the monotony of this guy's life. But they've put, they've cut it together quite cleverly where you're not actually experiencing monotony playing it. But you get the sense of the monotony. You still get the sense. Right. And, that, and you thought you heard that and you went, that sounds good. It's like FIFA. It sounds like FIFA. Yeah, FIFA's right. like the other way about where it's like you're playing something that's meant to be like intense and exciting like the sport of football but actually what you're feeling within yourself is depression and monotony. Mosaic is a game, an indie game obviously, where your main character, this is him here, he doesn't have a name, they didn't give him a name, you need to just call him Ryan, let's call him Ryan, that's what I would have called him if I had the opportunity to name him. Ryan's trapped in his uh, daily routine, he's got a job he doesn't like, he's in debt, doesn't have any friends, and he dreams of just floating up in the sky and staring at the sun. That's what his fantasy is. Don't know why he's still wearing his trousers and shirt. If it was my fantasy, I'd have a comfy pair of joggies on and a bathrobe. But I suppose they would have had to create those assets for that character, so it's probably easier just if he's got his shirt and trousers on. Salty, this is your job. This is, this is Ryan's job, just this quite simple wee mini game that they've put in. It's brief enough that it isn't it isn't too uh, dull. As much as the story is about the monotony of uh, Ryan's life. It is directed and so this is what dating apps are, are actually like. Not even looking at the pictures, just clicking yes all the time. Just any just any, absolutely anybody please speak to me. That's what it becomes. So they nailed that. What was I saying? Subtlety in your storytelling is quite a difficult thing to navigate and it's something that Mosaic does struggle with. It's, uh, it's pretty blunt with its message. Pretty... Pretty blunt. And it's an enjoyable wee story. I enjoy these set pieces where... I suppose you can say he, he, he finds a bit more meaning in his existence in these wee set pieces. Um, moments of colour in his day, but how it goes about, they actually just reuse the same scene when he's floating up at the sun, because it's a lot of hassle on it, having to create different different stuff. He's well just reuse the same. It, it is enjoyable, look, <coughs> it is enjoyable. It just doesn't have the depth, unfortunately, that, uh, that they seem to think that it has lots of things to admire. It's very atmospheric. The setup's fine. The setup of this guy's, this Ryan's shit life is is fine. It's the it's the the journey. It's the it's the the playthrough experience that is a bit thin on the ground. Because to get out of a rut, you expect to have to put in our tiny a tiny wee bit of effort. I actually quite like them. I know I'm a bit OCD, but I actually do quite like that side game. I probably could have played it for quite a while. You, you barely play it. Which goes for the game itself, I think. You could probably stick, label that the, the generally. One you barely play it. That's what this game is, you barely play it. There he's giant outside the window and a goldfish is wearing a suit and talking to him. So that's good. There he's in a big pool of blood. It's momentarily interesting, but falls sadly short because as nicely put together as the scenes are, the main character's non-existent. There's no actual reason to give a fuck about anything that you're looking at here. This is how the game plays out. You just wake up in bed wearing your stuff every morning and you go through the same wee routines. But nothing you do in these wee routines seems to change the outcome of the game. There's only one path to be taken, so... Initially I thought what you were doing in those first moments of your character's day were making a difference to how the game would play it, but as it turns out that's not the case. So I don't know why they bothered. Maybe they ran out of money. 
maybe there are a bunch of chances. Who knows? What would have been far more interesting would have been if the character had to do some work to put different pieces of his life back together. I'm presuming he's depressed, it's, there's, there's no dialogue or, or note, so... If he was if he was having to put in some of the work to you know piece his life back together to to get out of the rut that he was in instead of just what it is is just blow up the machine. That's just blow up the machine that's causing you all the hassle, and then you'll be fine, and then you can join a band. That's the message of this game. If you've got a job, put a bomb under your boss, and then go and play bass guitar in the park. That's the message of Mosaic. It's a bit too oversimplified, if you ask me. But I did enjoy it. I, th I think it's a very well put together game. You're never going to play it. We need to make some major changes. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of being... <clears throat> I'm sick of all the young team running ahead of us. I still feel... Have you seen Rocky Balboa? What's that about? It's about... It's a jogger. See the guy that plays Rambo? Aye. Right, he's in that. It's a film Arnold. about him. He's a Arnold. professional jogger. It's a film about the guy that... It's no, he's no Rambo in it, right? He's a jogger. The character's called Rocky Balboa. He's a jogger that boxes. No, he used to be a boxer. But anyway, in this film, um, Rocky Balboa is talking about... He, he goes in and he sees his his dead wife's brother and he's lied to her. I still think I've got a bit of something left in the basement. He says, he's been in the basement, he's got his body, his life, the basement, right, his life. He's been, stuff no, he doesn't mean he's got like, I, listen, you need to, my wife's stuff's still lying down there, we need to get higher up in the van to get, get her out. <coughs> no, he's in meaning, a flood. he's meaning he's got something left in the basement. He wants to compete, you know what I mean? And he's like, he's about her age, he's like, he's like 50s. So, I think, <laughs> It would be nice. I want to compete, you know what I mean? I want to compete with the Twitchells and Ninja. I want to, I want to be I want to beat Ninja. Is that his name? Ninja? I want to beat I want to beat um what's the other ones called? You know the ones that the ones that make all the money and all that. I want to beat them, no because of the money thing, but just because um I, I genuinely do feel as if I've still got something left in the basement. You've got to get into shape, or you've got to get into like proper shape, e-sports shape, Aye. Like, proper professional sports shape. I just I feel Those like don't just fit anyone, you know. Those wee jerseys. It was a time when Consylvania, when people used to talk about us in hushed tones of reverence. Do you know what I mean? Any. I don't know if it's just this is sleep deprivation talking, but I feel that we need to we need to make major changes. So we're going to have to knock our bands in, boys. We're going to have to. I know this series is done. Um, I don't want to get ahead of things, but this series is done now, right? This is episode six. Uh -huh. um, and now I think a series of winning it worked quite well, though. I mean, it would it <coughs> would have worked better if Jerry didn't look down the camera all the time. Jerry kept looking at the lens, which kind of sometimes broke the tone of this kind of meditative. You can't, you can't point a camera at him without him singling it up. He goes into presenter mode. It's you an, know that, though. You know that. It's an experiment, no one. It's like you get this. See you. Meditative middle aged vibe that we went for. Um, just to see if we could do. How would it work to do a reflective, conversational. Um, you can eat your bread? No, you have that can bread. Have that. Did you pick the jalapenos out of your burger? They fell out, naturally. They didn't fall out naturally, exactly, in this wee fucking basket. Can I Did have them? Yeah, you have that. I'll take his, I'll take the bread, you take no. the jalapenos, and then you give... The danger, is, sauce. the danger is, the danger is, we've all looked at the lens and all that. And He's not going to ask me about the dating scene like you normally do in these bits. How's your dating going? No, is that because not there's no, right now, that's why. There's no fun in it anymore. I've got a girlfriend. There's no fun in it because Ryan's actually. He just called her girlfriend. He's actually in quite a good place now, so that, that's. Just no, don't say just no. He's in a good place. We'll see how long the that lasts. The black double here, you saying that? You know, the danger of now we've broken this, where we're all kind of now we're all looking at a lens, not as. 
you're like, oh, what is that? And is you, that, you just all a... look at the lines eventually. I'm just ahead of my time. I'm just six episodes ahead of my time. Do we need to worry if a, a portal could open up and somebody could come through a portal and all that kind of stuff and being like, oh, quick, something's happening in another dimension and all that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping we should at least get to the end of this episode. We, I mean, we just, it's reflective, meditative. meditative. You should at least hear. I'm not going to look at the lens anymore. Right, let's kid on. Hi, hey guys. I just, uh, I kind of feel it would be nice if... Um, Am I not allowed to look at the lens there? No, you're no, back then. No, no okay. looking at the lens. Somehow, somehow somebody set up cameras and microphones with it was no one. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. right. right. It's like the wrestling, you know, when they're backstage at the wrestling and they're like, oh, yeah. watching them on it on the lap. How could he say that about me? And then you're like, fucking, there's a cameraman pointing at you. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. There should be somebody watching that on a monitor going, he's fucking, somebody's filming him watching, and then somebody should be going, there's somebody filming him watching him filming. That's always so a lot of you ever thing set up the cameras? Me. Can they wait till we finished eating next time? I think, I just I kind of believe that, I, you know, we've been probably, we've had viewers having to deal with hearing his tune and all that. And that. Anyway. Anyway, we can speed this up and edit. I just, um... So you want to fight Ninja? Is that what you're saying? Right, hold on. I just kind of feel like at this point in life we've got, you know, we've got something to prove. We need to put the timers, we've got a web, the timer, we've got a website sitting there. We, we never update, we've got a YouTube channel there that we could be hammering with content, you know what I mean? I mean, I think... Maybe the viewers, the people that are into our stuff, would like to hear from us every day in some context. I think it'd be nice to get up to date with everything that's happening and be like. Why don't we ask for the the patrons' phone numbers? And we can give them a ring every morning. Just to see what they want. Like it's a kind of innovative distribution model that. Well, I'd like to so announce uh, my retirement. Right, okay. Contravenia because I'm getting really annoyed that people want to know what I think about games. It's, it's my information. I want to keep that to I'm playing something other like I want to keep that information to myself. From now on. Jerry, it sounds to me like you're just trying to avoid work. Yeah. <laughs> I you just um I know less sleep every night and you would be you would be fine. Minus you know? ten minutes sleep a night. How is that gonna work? I just I, I, I guarantee that if we knock our pants in, that the, 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 the punters will get behind us in a big way because they know that they know. I mean, I've got the lines. Kind. I just have a. I just feel as if I get something in the basement. I don't know why the Rambo also did this big inspirational speech. Rambo talking to his son. Rambo and Rocky Balboa. Uh -huh. um, Rambo Balboa. Rambo's talking to his son, and his son's like, I don't. His son's kind of different film. He's like, I don't. He's kind of. He's got a wee bit yuppie kind of vibe about him. You know what I mean? He's like, I don't want to be. People laughing at me. I don't want to be in the jungle shooting guys and that and playing kabaddi with all these, all these guys and that and shooting, firing bows and arrows. Set the bows and arrows and fire and firing the arrows and and then they cut the you get the hole in him and he's putting the gunpowder in and he's burning and cauterizing his wounds. I don't want to be cauterizing my wounds, Dan. All that he's saying, and Rambo's like to him, it's not about. Oh, what's the thing you say? Is it something about it? It's not about if, if you fall down, just stole that and stone up. I think that's the fame. I think I've heard that before, that quote. It's been quite inspirational. And that's it, you know, and... So is Rambo Fond doing a lot now that he's older? Aye, aye. It's a relaunch. I don't like to say a relaunch either, because it's... This was this food wasn't very good. I don't see that. I've said it. Mine was lovely, and I had exactly the same thing as you. That's what was nice. It's a, a relaunch, you know. Get the punters involved, man. It's six episodes of this, and, and now we, we just forge ahead and we knock our pans in, we exhaust ourselves. We exhaust ourselves. I want to be exhausted. I don't feel exhausted. I bet your ninja's exhausted. I'm Is running, that his name? Running 10k a day, mate. Are you Ninja running 10k Jackson. every day? In Jiu Jitsu, I'm not exhausted. 10k every day? Oh. Every day? Every day. You're doing today? Mm -hmm. I've not done it yet, but I will. <laughs> how far is that? Follow me, man. How far is that to run? I'm not going to follow yeah. you around the park anyway. Blink it. It's 10k. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but from where to where? I run up the Clyde till I get to a bit cuddled. Oh, wow. 
Until I get to about Kudros and just double back. Well, I've run along the wall. It's fucking amazing. See the hidden mountains and the hills and... You're like a Consolvania Rocky. Did you say you see the hidden mountains? Hills and mountains. Oh, I thought you said you see the hidden mountains. I was like... He's actually just like... Three <laughs> mushies he that are growing along the side of the thing. He wakes thing. up and I've just done a run and I'm still in my pyjamas. So anyway, that's what I'm proposing, boys. I'm proposing. Right? So Rab's proposing you get rid of all that and start playing 10 hours worth of games. We make it a full time, 100%. Double full time endeavour, you know what I mean? Yeah. Double full time. 48 hours a day. Right. Right. Okay. Because I've got like a thousand wins I need to support. I've got a thousand wins. Well, four help. wins. You can start putting them in work as soon as possible. That's a good point. How long does it take for a Florence to grow up? They it's must like be a working age by now. It's accelerated. Do you want my butter as well? And share my breed. <clears throat> Give us whatever. Pass that salt. Make some salty butter. Bit of nostalgia here for you. Uh, for a change, eh? I like Consylvania to talk about nostalgia. Right, Ghostbusters, the video game remastered. Stick that in your proton pack and blast it out like a big electric willy. Because that's what that's what they really are, aren't they? I'm not, I'm not trying to be a male feminist here, I'm, I'm just being candid, they were just big, crazy electro wallopers. So big and, and out of control that it needs two hands to minimise the fucking damage. Don't cross the streams! That's why some guys didn't like the 2016 film, isn't it? Birds kind of use big electro dicks, this is stupid. Anyway, let's not get into all that just now. Uh, this was out in October, uh, but I'm just getting around to play it now. Uh, I say October, but it uh, was originally out in 2009 on the PS3, Xbox 360, the Wii, etc. This is the remastered 2019 version, um, and it was it was intended to be a third movie. It's written by Dan Aykroyd and Harold Ramis, voices by the original cast, including Bill Murray. Uh, incidentally, I, I, I heard that he had such a great time recording this that he, uh, he actually agreed to make another actual Ghostbusters film, uh, but then changed his mind later on. Just changed his mind. <laughs> so, so very Bill Murray. So very Murray of him, wasn't it? Look, this appealed to me. Yes, because of the nostalgia. But the concept of moving a story on in game format reminded me of another of my favourite games, The Warriors on PS2, which not only expanded the world after the cult hit film, but also added to the prologue, a beautiful gift to the fans of the film to find out how their film came about, more story, a lovely wee gem, a gift. Similarly, this Ghostbusters moves on the original story. Look, I'll stay spoiler free as much as I can, just to just in case you haven't had time to play over the last decade. But the Ghostbusters are needed by the city again after a paranormal explosion releases all sorts of spirits and uh, including some previously captured ghoulies uh, from the first two movies, which gives us the excuse to be slimed in some familiar classic and iconic New York locations all over again. New play, uh, a new recruit to the Ghostbusters team it is interesting that that new recruit happens to replace the only black character in the film. Um, yes, uh, is it interesting that there's no options to modify, customise that character, you can't make them female. Yes, uh, if it was made now, uh, could they have remastered that part of it? Yes, yeah, yeah let's, let's not get bogged down on that. We're getting back into the 2016 Electro Dicks conversation. Yep, all that is an issue. But I also know what you're thinking, you're going, Jerry, you like this, don't you? You really like this. Is it just because you like the Ghostbusters film? Look, yes, to some extent, and also, no, this is a genuinely fun game. Aye, the movement still plays a wee bit like a, like a PS3 title, but who cares if the characters bundle into a lift clumsily, or if the, the environment more gets 
painted with proton burns rather than destructed and destroyed. Look, that's all just dressing. The main meal here is still very satisfying. Lovely ghost capturing mechanics, very similar to Luigi's Mansion. Maybe I just love hunting dead people. Maybe that's it. But look, basically what I'm saying is I recommend this. It's great fun. I love playing it. Give it a wee shot. I'm away to dig up my gran. Or maybe I'm going to go buy a Ouija board. A glass Ouija board. Yes. Games are expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the best game of the decade? Um, when was Dark Souls it? This decade. Dark Souls. that decade though. It was Dark Souls though. Best game of the decade. Last of Us, and I know you're going to argue with me, but just That's take it. I mean, I even I like The Last of Us as well, but no, no, no. I love Dark Souls, my heart says Dark Souls. And they talk too, it's the best game. It's a special, special thing. My heart says Dark Souls, but my head says Minecraft. I think maybe my heart says Minecraft as well. I've never played Minecraft, but... Minecraft's so good. I need, to I need to keep stopping myself from talking about Dark Souls all the time to come on. I just go on and on and on about it. When I think of Dark Souls, I think just about go on you on on. immediately. It's, it's, kind of, it's just it's just something mesmerising about it. No, just playing it, watching somebody else play it is mesmerising. Have you made your girlfriend play it? Aye, she's what I'm saying. As she's playing it, I'm talking about it all the time. You, you sure? You're not too much advice and talking too much about the background of it. And is this after you've found the hidden mountains? Are you telling her about the lore? Uh-huh. I'm doing her as she doesn't appreciate it because she doesn't realise how little information the game gives you, but I'm, I'm providing quite a good service for her while she's playing. <laughs> Ryan's commentary. We can make Ryan's commentary available for Dark Souls. You could download it. That could be another Castlevania did you offering. See that, did you see that mummy, Tom? Who's mummy? The mummy that they rebuilt its vocal cords. There's a mummy and they rebuilt its throat, its vocal cords using a 3D, the 3D printer essentially. They remodeled its um, vocal cords <coughs> and stuff like that so you could hear the voice of this mummy, that this priest who died back in the Egypt times. And they said, and there was this big build up, <coughs> and it went, and it says, and this is the voice of the mummy, and it went, eh, <laughs> eh. Eh. Uh, that was it. So this is the tone of this guy's voice. Did it, was it trying to say, eh, uh, I didn't sound like this? Well, I don't know then. what it was going to say, but a guy tweeted me saying that it sounded like one of the villagers from Minecraft. And it did. <laughs> it sounds exactly like one of the villagers from Minecraft. <coughs> now, we all know that you're not supposed to play way electrical equipment when you're in the bath. This is what I need today when I'm in the bath, by the way, is um, shave my head like Stone Cold Steve Austin. <clears throat> um, and then, you, but, you know, it's no ideal day in the bath. Ideally, you want to be in the shower or like not in anywhere where there's any water because you just end up with wee bits of hair flowing in the bath and it's just not a good idea. You know, it's one of the things probably you shouldn't do in the bath. Also, you shouldn't play electrical equipment in the bath. However, the thing with the Nintendo Switch is that you want to play everywhere, right? So, um, I've been playing. Let me tell you what I've been playing. I've been playing Psycho Shooting Stars Alpha, which is a collection of the Psycho shoot em up games um, which it came out in Japan a while ago this collection they've been on the eShop as well these games you see them beautiful right turn the music up but I like my I like my physical copies of stuff so I got the I got the whole collection um, in the collection of games you've got Strikers 1945, Strikers um, 1945 2, Strikers 1945 3, you've got Soul Divide, which uh, now a lot of these games are games that I own as well in the Saturn, so 
Dragon Blaze, um, Zero Gunner 2. So it's a, it's a good wee collection here. So let's just start off with Strikers 1945. <sighs> now, um, like I said, these collections were out in Japan initially, and they were, look at this. Black and white, just like the war times. You know, a bit of historical accuracy there. Right, let's get this started. Um, now, if you want to be a snob about a game like this, then you can be. Um, it feels, it feels really good to me. However, you go on forums and stuff, and you'll read about how there's a fair amount of a fair amount of lag. Um, in these conversions, I don't notice it myself. Like I said, I'm familiar with the game only um, for my Sega Saturn days. But basically, I'm happy. You know, I'm, I'm really, really happy. Of course, hold on. I'll show you this as well. Of course, you can do this. And you can orient it that way, right? So if you're able to... Look at that. If you're able to do a, a bit of that, there's a lot of challenge I'm playing it upside down here. Watch. Using the camcorder screen to play it. This could be a new Let's Play video we could do. With me in a bath eh, trying to play things upside down and reflected. Eh, listen, it's a really, really solid wee collection of shoot em ups. I've always been a big fan of Soul Divide, even though, you know, it's not the, it's not the best. And I'll show you Soul Divide, right, just in case. Um, we can speed this up and edit. We can, we can cut a wee bit forward. Um, let me just get Soul Divide for you. One sec. Here we go. Okay. Um, get to the main menu and get Soul Divide up. Soul Divide is, has a wee bit of a kind of fantasy setting about it and your magical characters flying about. So it's, you know, it's different if you've been a spaceship or a plane. It's also... It's also... Uh, a horizontal. Look at this. I mean, that's, that's dramatic, and that's very dramatic. Right, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to show you this as well. I'm going to try and do this the same way. Now, like I said, I've got a soft spot for Soul Divide. It's not the best shooter in the world, but it's very original. The style in it is um, very original, and I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of the fact that it isn't just your, your average space shooter. There's a wee bit of a Golden Axe shoot em up type feel with it. So it's a really nice collection of stuff. However, you can be... Um, you can be snobbish about these games. This is this is the this is the danger when you're reviewing them. There's always the temptation to uh, there's always the temptation to really really dig in on them and really analyse how they play and compare how they play. Um, the masters of emulation, the masters of these ports and stuff are M2. Uh, you know when you're playing a game that's been ported by M2 that you're going to be experiencing the game at its very best. Uh, so uh, collections like this are slightly different. You, you know there's, um, there's wee shortcuts that have been taken and stuff. But still for the ease of being able to play some of the best shoot em ups that were ever released um, in a very good fashion in your bath. In your bath while you're shaving your head, you know, on your switch. 
And I know you may be thinking, ah well we can play we can play Witcher on a switch in the bath. Why would we not play Witcher 3 on a switch in the bath and see an old shoot 'em up, Rob? Fuck's sake, why do you think we're interested in buying old shoot 'em ups? Well, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that there is we are now living in a great time where we have this wealth of different stuff to play. Which is great. We are returning my bath now. Okay. I'm getting myself all cleaned up, relaxed and ready for the new relaunch of Consulvania. Excited. Turn this off. It's definitely Dark Souls. If you can put aside how sick you are that or how, how many copycat games there's been the Dark Souls, it's definitely Dark Souls. Think about the areas. Think about that journey of playing that game the first time. Nothing comes close. The boss battles, the areas, with the exception think, of Blight Town, obviously. Do you think your feelings about Dark Souls are coloured a bit by the fact you didn't play Demon's Souls first though. I mean, do you think you maybe think more highly of it than I, and I really think highly of it, but I do you think you maybe have an extra bump because it was the first Aye, yeah, it was the first Aye, definitely. Aye. But Demon's Souls is smaller. Mm. It's still special, but it is smaller. Dark Souls has the, the, the environments all wrapped and running themselves and stuff like that, and you mm. coming out new bits, was like amazing that first time through. Is it the best combat system that you've played? Mm. Is that why you're so attracted to it? It's a lot of fun. It's not perfect, it no, is. I mean, it's isn't. sloppy in it, but Aye. still... It's a like, sloppy you can learn about. <coughs> Kimberly's already going on about the camera a lot. Like the camera's useless, it's clunky, and it's... True, it's true. It's this music. It's Dark Souls. Nothing comes close. Nothing comes close. Except for the last of us. It is Minecraft, though. Because Minecraft is an example of a game that becomes a cultural phenomenon and is also an amazing game. Which doesn't happen often. I like a good story and a good world though. I like I like those things. Those are things I prize. Survival mode in Minecraft is you create your own amazing story of of survival. I still think that's one one of the best gameplay experiences you'll ever have is starting a new game on survival mode in Minecraft and just that that wee curve of night's gonna fall soon, the monsters are gonna come, I need to get a roof on my head. And they quickly build just a wee box to be in. Until and then wait until the sun rises the next day and then you can make your box a wee bit bigger. A wee bit more stuff in it. Night falls again. Rise again, go out and get resources, come back, make your home a wee bit bigger. Maybe I'll make it a wee bit nicer this time, put a window in or something like that, you know, and night falls again, you're in. Then you build yourself a bed and then when night falls you go to sleep. Because Why are you building a window? It's just a beautiful so you can start to it's that lovely thing of like you start to survive and then you start to you start to survive and then you start to thrive. You know what I mean? You start to like want to make it beautiful, want to make it better than the last thing you built. The mining's really great. It's just as it's, it's genius. Yes, yeah, yep. thank, thank you. you. And even the fact you can, um, the, the fact that a seven year old will enjoy it as much as a 47 year old will, mm. you know what I mean? You don't get that in the bed often. Mm. Mm. I don't know what they are lists. They could play Dark Souls. Just thank you. Like, well, I mean, that's the thing about Dark Souls. I feel as if it has a very, it actually has a very it's narrow so, appeal. It's so cruel. Yeah. It's so cool. It's got a narrow appeal. I don't, I, you know what I mean? It's, I know, it gets... I would never recommend it to anybody. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Unless... I was. I don't mean... I would recommend it to somebody I knew. It's different you recommending it to um, Kimberly, but me, I would never recommend it to a stranger if a stranger went, oh, what's a, a great game to play? And you saw people doing things like that. You saw people going, I just bought a PS4, or I just bought a PS3, or like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And people were recommending from software games, and you're like, why would you do that? Hmm. Mm hmm. 
Whereas you could recommend Minecraft to everybody, I think. So in short, the game of the decade is definitely not The Last of Us. It's The Last of Us, this is what I was in thinking short, about. It the Last of Us, because what is there even to say about The Last of Us? But that was a nice story. But what if I prize those things? Those are the things that I like the best and are the most prevalent in that in that title. You like the story the best? Like you like story? I like, I like a world, I like a story, I like performance in it. Take coffees for dessert. Do you want yeah, teas or coffees? I'll take a I'll take a cup of tea. Yeah, thank you. I would take a um, a cup of tea. Tea. I'm alright just now. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, no, I think uh, yeah, yeah. I just happen to prize different things. I like a story that I get ab- absorbed in. That's why so many people like Death Stranded and things like that because they were just like, oh, this is a world. And for some people, the idea of just cutting about, walking about, <laughs> carrying stuff is absolutely brutal. I would and for some people, they like that sounds perfect right now. I would argue that the worlds of both Dark Souls and Minecraft are much deeper than the world of The Last of Us, which... You know, I there's no, I mean, I like The Last of Us, but there isn't any sense of it being your story. You're not customising it the way you customise Dark Souls and, mm-hmm. and uh, Minecraft. But I think it's also a fair point, though, to say it's like, of of that kind of game where it's kind of like a, an event, like an experience. Yeah, I mean it's probably, I think of its type a game, it might be the best of the decade, I'm trying to think. Which I think we even kind of compares it. Like, um, <coughs> the Uncharted product. games are similar, yeah. aren't they? The God of War. God of War is similar. God of War, I think, is. But that's, there's, there's mere, mere action. Yeah. And that really, unless strategy and it's a bit more old school. The last of us was just like a film, a story, and I quite like that every so often. And that's not Minecraft. What have you done? Just drop the thing off, play me. It's fine. So it's settled then. It's the last of us. The best game of the decade is. Not Grand Theft Auto. Not. <coughs> not. Not Last of Us. Maybe I haven't played that. I haven't played them um, Minecraft. So. I also haven't played. You didn't really like Bloodborne, didn't you? Nah. 